whether it's the serenity of rolling mountains, the charm of small towns and villages, or the excitement of big city entertainment. Great conference and convention facilities and the energy of a major university. They're all here in Center County. Located in the heart of Pennsylvania, within a few hours of many eastern and midwestern cities, Center County has many unique places and things to do for everyone. For the history buff, there are many towns and villages where yesterday has been preserved. For the shopper, there are plenty of boutiques, antique, and specialty shops. For the business traveler, it's a great place to mix business with recreation and meet in great facilities. For the sports enthusiast, there's great fishing, hunting, and of course, Big Ten Sports. Whether it's in town or in the countryside, Center County is family fun all year long. One of the first visitors to Center County was the French diplomat Talleyrand, who in 1794 was taken to see an amazing spring from which over 11 million gallons of sparkling clear water gushed each day. His exclamation, Quelle Belle Fontaine, provided the name Belfont, our county seat, and is still serving the residents today. Belfont's steep hills are covered with fine buildings, including handsome examples of Georgian and Victorian architecture. Some of these historic structures are now bed and breakfasts that welcome today's travelers. The importance of the rail industry in Center County's past is preserved today by the Belfont Historical Railroad. Visitors can hop aboard for a winding trip through the scenic valleys of central Pennsylvania. During the chilly days of December, Victorian Christmas warms up the town by taking you back in time when carolers donned their Sunday finery to sing by candlelight in the town square. Coal and other industries have played an important role in the development of another center county town, Phillipsburg. Founded in 1797, Many of the town's landmarks, including Union Church and Fountain Park, look much as they did a century ago. In the early days of the talking picture show, the Roland Theater was built in Phillipsburg. This stately, old-fashioned theater with its gilded balcony and intricately designed interior still packs in moviegoers. In Center County, History and outdoor recreation blend. For the angler, we boast over 225 miles of nationally recognized fishing streams. There are thousands of acres of public forest land, state parks, and many lakes. The hunting is outstanding, and there are many places to boat, canoe, kayak, hike, and cycle. As you travel the rolling mountains of Center County, you can get a great view from the mountaintops, or there are glider rides at the Keystone Glider Port in Julianne. Aronsburg, on the east side of the county, is at the exact geographical center of Pennsylvania. And so, when the town was built, Aaron Levy laid out his town with extra wide streets in hopes that it would become the state capital. Whether you're traveling through or relaxing in the area, Center County is known for the quality and variety of its accommodations. From family campsites, to charming inns, fine hotels, to quaint bed and breakfasts, all offer a tradition of hospitality. Many of those accommodations are in demand in the fall, when thousands of football fans flock to Beaver Stadium to cheer on Penn State's Nittany Lions. Penn State, one of America's best-known universities, is a vibrant and exciting place. The University Park campus attracts conference-goers, alumni, parents, countless people looking for educational and cultural activities. The 16,000-seat Jordan Center hosts Big Ten men's and women's basketball. 
plus internationally acclaimed performers. All around Center County, you'll find other kinds of entertainment, from summer stock to world-renowned theater and dance troupes to homegrown rock bands. Whether it's bugs, antique machinery, fine art, the realities of warfare, or life in bygone eras, there are lots of special interest museums all across the county, from the Lyons David House Museum in Snowshoe to Penn State's Frost Entomological Museum. State College, Penn State's hometown, has its own unique charms and activities. You'll find live entertainment every night of the week. By day, visitors can explore the town's many boutiques, gift shops, and bookstores. And when hunger hits, there are dozens of restaurants and coffee shops, more than 70 in all, that are sure to please any appetite. In July, the Central Pennsylvania Festival of the Arts comes to State College. This nationally acclaimed festival features hundreds of artists and craftsmen from across the U.S. and Canada. The festival also showcases the performing arts with non-stop entertainment. And what's a festival without food? Fairgoers sample everything from traditional funnel cakes to sausage sandwiches. Also in July, there's the People's Choice Festival in nearby Bowlesburg. The People's Choice emphasizes local craftsmen and entertainers. The biggest day of the year for Bowlesburg is Memorial Day. Townspeople here have decorated the graves of the war dead since 1864, supporting Bowlesburg's claim to be the birthplace of Memorial Day. Bowlesburg celebrates its special day with a Civil War reenactment, a parade, music from various eras in Bowlesburg's history, arts and crafts, and plenty of down-home cooking. All year round, you can go to the Pennsylvania Military Museum, where visitors can view the fine collection of military uniforms and vehicles and experience the drama and tragedy of life in the trenches during World War I. You can also see a 16th century Spanish chapel that belonged to the family of Christopher Columbus and the Bowl Mansion, home of the town's founding father. Bowlesburg also has many unique shops, historic taverns, and quaint bed and breakfasts. Throughout the countryside, you'll find lots to do. There's skiing, tubing, snowboarding, and world-class instruction at Tussie Mountain Ski Area. There are many fine golf courses close by, and several wineries to tour. Penn's Cave is a national historic landmark that visitors explore by boat. A mountain lion, like Penn State's Nittany Lion mascot, is among the many species in Penn's Cave's wildlife preserve. Woodward Cave offers adventurous travelers an opportunity to explore its fascinating rock formations on foot. As you pass through Milheim and Spring Mills, don't be surprised if you have to slow down for an Amish buggy. The fertile farmlands in Penns Valley and Brush Valley are home to many of these quiet people. In August, time seems to stand still in nearby Center Hall, home to the oldest encampment fair in the nation. For more than a century, the Center County Grange Fair has brought together extended families and friends who live in tents and RVs for a week in August while enjoying the agricultural displays and contests, along with the games, rides, food, and musical entertainment each evening. No matter when you choose to visit, you'll find the quiet splendor of the countryside, the fun of the city, with great accommodations and plenty of unique things to see and do. It's all here in Center County.
Begin your adventure at the Center County Penn State Visitor Center, the home of hospitality in central Pennsylvania. The Visitor Center in State College provides a complete one-stop source for information on things to do and see, recreational suggestions, reservations for lodging and restaurants. You can get Penn State information, parking permits, plus souvenirs, gift certificates, maps, and more. For your convenience, there are public phones, an ATM machine, and even a cyber cafe where you can check your email. Located across from Beaver Stadium, the Center County Visitor Center is ready to help you plan a memorable visit.